Hi everyone, I'm Eleni and I'm representing Consortis Geospatial today. I'm going to talk to you about our map portal, EveryMap. So what is EveryMap? Basically it comes in two flavors. In its simplest form, uh, it is uh, a standard map portal where the user can publish the spatial data, uh, can create pretty symbology using map server and uh, configure the map layers. Uh, then the end user can uh, search, view, query the data and download them. Uh, basically, in functionality, uh, a user would expect from a WebGIS. Uh, plus, its look, its look and feel can be easily customized to uh, fit on clients' purposes and uh, requirements. But what we really feel its real strength is, uh, it comes with its second uh, form. Um, so that, due to its extendable architecture, uh, where the, that allows the end user to uh, uh, create custom modules uh, for business specific applications. Uh, every, maps, every map comes with uh, out of the box uh, client side editing tools, uh, plus the fact that it can implement custom business logic by simply writing your own APIs. Then every map will consume these APIs by, uh, automatically by configuring them as modules. Uh, and adding to that, uh, the fact that uh, every map can be embedded to any modern web app, uh, a sort of map plugin. Uh, and we uh, have put that into test, it's not just a theory. So Consortium Geospatial has uh, developed a few uh, modules. Uh, our prime module is Landify, uh, which is kind of uh, a mini Candastre. Uh, it aims for organizations with real estate portfolio. Uh, so the user can review, catalog, and manage the real estate data, both land parcels and buildings. Um, and this is our uh, flagship app uh, that has been uh, adopted by nine local government bodies back in Greece. Uh, we have also developed um, uh, building permits and expropriations management apps, uh, which are examples of not uh, first uh, map apps. And we also use it internally to display all the, the projects uh, on a map, and then the users can uh, apply uh, criteria, uh, both descriptive and uh, special criteria, uh, and then they can see all the relevant documentation and data that uh, accompany uh, a project. Uh, so a few things about uh, how we developed uh, every map. Uh, initially, we're thinking to just use it internally. Uh, but then we decided to go open source and we were using Node.js platform utilizing jQuery library. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript was used as programming languages uh, to develop the app environment. Uh, open layers was used for base mapping and map server for uh, the spatial data. And then uh, in the current version, we uh, went with Angular, which replaced uh, Node.js and we're using Cliflet for interactive mapping. And along with the technology upgrade, we have also changed the, the user interface to make it more uh, straightforward and user friendly. Uh, and this is uh, a sample of how the uh, every map uh, looks like. Uh, and this is uh, an example. Oh, if I can go back, uh, that should play. Yeah, uh, and that's the, the, the example from building permits management app. So basically it is um, an app where the citizens can apply to get a copy uh, for the documents and drawings that accompany a building permit. Plus uh, having embedded the every map here uh, allows uh, the, um, the user to get a better feeling. Uh, and we've also applied clusters, which is an innovative solution. So we were grouping together uh, the, the building permits as points and we color coded them. And while the user uh, was zooming in, these were breaking down so you could see uh, all the building permits uh, spread in the, in the ground. Uh, and that's me. Th okay. <laughs> Thanks for your attention. <laughs> <laughs>